Hi there everyone, happy Easter. Welcome back to my channel. Today I would like to do an energy reading for Aries. My intention is to get um, these messages out to you guys within a span of seven days so that you can do an energy check-in um, at least every seven days, okay? And that these messages will be good for you for that long. Um, I have a very busy um, 3D schedule, so it's hard for me to sometimes um, get on YouTube and post videos. So I'm going to try and um, this is my only free day. So I'm going to try to do all 12 signs today. I don't know if I'll get it. I don't know um, if that'll be possible, but I'll get it out as many as I can today. And if not tomorrow, so it's pretty close to a week's time. So uh, anyways, if you're watching this video and you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe to the channel. If after watching this video, you feel guided to book a personal reading with me, check out my description box for those details. I also have my email, my personal email um, listed down there. So if you want to, um, if you have questions or would like to reach out to me concerning um, anything, um, just, you know, hopefully it's um, related to um, your process and related to your personal growth, send me an email. I check my emails all the time. So, um, and that's, a way to get in touch with me if you're interested in doing that. Um, so for Aries, I'm going to start off with these cards, um, the Heal Yourself Oracle. Uh, so what does Aries need to know? Messages for Aries. What do they need to know? Messages for Aries. Messages for Aries. They want me to go a little bit longer. I, the energy for me at this right now it feels very um deliberate and conscious and um focused so maybe you're feeling um really you're, you're in good spirits that um you have clear vision at this time that you're um on point that you kind of know which direction you're heading in that um you you feel illuminated at this time um you're just in a good place um, uh, spiritually and energetically is what I'm feeling. Uh, let's pull some cards and see what the cards say. So the first card um, I've got for you guys is the number 18 and it says, say what you mean. So maybe um, this, this, I feel like this card is just a reminder to, um, to speak your truth, to, um, to say the things that sometimes are difficult to say that um, especially if we're if we run a household or we're in a position of, of leadership, that it's kind of difficult to say like those. We feel like oh, you know, th these words will be cutting. We're gonna hurt this person's feelings. They might take this the wrong way. But j honestly, it's my um, how I feel about this. And you could literally say anything if you say it in the right way. We have loads and loads of um, words in our, at our disposal for our vocabulary. So it's not that difficult to just take a moment and consider your words carefully and um, think about your tone and time. Timing is always very important as well. Um, and, and for me, I love to be, um, you know, when I, um, I really enjoy when someone takes the time to set me aside and speak to me. I really feel that um, that's a really respectful way to do things that I'm aware that the situation is, is pertinent and that um, the things that are spoken between me and another person or two other people, that it's, it's a, um, it's just a, um, like a special time. I don't, I, I'm, I don't have a good vocabulary right now, but um, it's just a way to do things that's really good. Let's get in one more card. And you've got take off your masks and it's the number 11. So this is a path card. This is path seeking, path walking. Um, this, I, I really feel what I'm getting with this, um, the, the flash that popped in one moment so I can um, get it back. That it is about, um, you know, it's you have to do your regular duties, your responsibilities of life, 
but um, that is, and it's just one of the hats that we wear as human beings. There's something underneath that you need to be listening to at this time. There's another direction for you to be heading. It could be about your spiritual growth. It could be about um, your mental health. It could be um, about a relationship that you're in. Um, it could be um, about a friendship, about, um, you know, are you being sincere is what I'm getting, okay? It's okay to um, not agree with someone all the time. It's okay to have a difference of opinion. And um, it's also okay to see things differently, to have a different perspective. Even if that perspective seems negative and other people are like, oh, that's a negative. And, uh. But sometimes you have a different experience and that's why your perspective is in such a way. So just um, feel free to um, express yourself honestly don't uh at this time is what i'm getting that i'm really getting um a lot about communication here that um it's time to uh, maybe your um, throat chakra has been blocked and you haven't been um, exercising uh that um, modality as much as you should be but just um speak your truth even if it's others don't like it okay and 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 consider a way to do that that's that is um, serving for you and others. Okay, so let's get some guidance from Source and then I'll pull some tarot. Messages for Aries. What do they need to know? Messages for Aries. Messages for Aries. Whoops, those are slippery. Let's go. Ooh, 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 ooh. They're trying to all come out. Okay, lots of messages from source here. I'm gonna close my eyes so I don't think about the cards. Okay, we got a couple. Oh, Dark Knight of the Soul. So it could be, um, it could be that you have been feeling a little bit um, repressed and, and experiencing um, a suppression of your light. And I'm getting that with um, that that was happening because you weren't um, being as communicative as you could be, that you were kind of um, shutting your own self down, um, uh, kind of putting out your own light here. And um, Source wants to know that, or wants you to know, that um, your, uh, your input, your being is just as important as the next person's, okay? And the, um, what you have is valuable and um, it needs to be um, put out there for everyone to be to participate in and to listen to and to learn from. Like we all have something to offer everyone. Like we all have um, uh, unique experiences or perspectives or um, a way to, um, to challenge a, a status quo. Like we're, um, we don't really know um how important we are to the group if we are if we are um suppressing our own spirit okay and so and this is also another another um this card is 11 so this is um a, a period of time um for you to um kind of accept the path accept um how things are happening um it might be a little bit challenging uh some of the experiences that you've recently gone through they could have been pretty difficult, and I know that um, during a, a period of grieving, one of the things that happens to us is this um, energy of denial, and we're like, no, 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 I'm good, that didn't really happen to me, and oh, this, that didn't, oh, no, I'm fine, like, oh, this, and we kind of, like, brush things off, or we, like, literally deny it altogether, but um, embrace, um, embrace your challenges, embrace um, what this life is offering to you, all of it, and make sure that you're communicating, okay? I really feel that's the main focus here is that communication. And um, the second card you have from Source is Energy Signature. The past is in the present. And um, that just means that um, the things that happened to you in the past um, created who you are today. It shaped your values. It shaped your personality. It, um, the people and the places that you visited or that you um, were brought into um, played a role in the person that you are today. And there's no um, 
denying that part. You can um, look at that and say, okay, so I liked this part about that, but this part, I didn't like it so much, and I want to change it. And you can do that as a human being. You can do that. Um, you can make changes like that if that's what you want to do. Um, and you can move forward in all kinds of different ways. Like um, source is limitless and you're limitless. You just have to um, embrace that opportunity and take the time to do those things. So let's pull some tarot. Let's get some more messages. Messages for Aries. What do they need to know? Messages for Aries. Messages for Aries. All right. Okay, you've got the Eight of Cups. The Six of Wands. The King of Wands. Lots of passion. Spiritual. Uh, spiritual. Uh, not, re not reinforcement, but... Um, A force to be, you're just a force to be reckoned with, Aries, okay? And the Nine of Pentacles. So, um, I'm getting, uh, it looks like um, in the recent past that you um, had to make some choices um, based on, um, on some experiences that you were having that you basically weren't emotionally satisfying to you. You didn't feel like... Um, you were being received and so you decided to um, not cut people off but sort of just um, remove your energy and it start and you're start it looks like you're starting to explore some different options um, in your present energy you've got the um, six of wands and the king of wands you're really high vibrational at this time you are um, really uh, really high vibrational is what I'm getting um, you're, you're illuminated, you're, um, fiery, you're passionate, you're really, um, on target, um, for seeking your heart and soul's truest wants and desires. Um, you've been working really, really hard is what I'm getting, um, in your, um, out, um, outcome energy is the nine of pentacles. So, um, I see you, um, really enjoying, and it's the, uh, it's, uh, I think that's Mercury or Venus. And so you've been, um, I, I see in the future that you are going to be opening up communication and you are going to be um, uh, settling for more, that you're not just um, settling any longer, that you're striving for um, your hopes and dreams. And um, your, your heart chakra is opening, um, your, your spirituality and your energies are expanding. And I feel that um, you're being guided to um, people, places, and situations that are going to um, encourage your journey, that are going to give you um, some insight and knowledge about um, what, because maybe you're not quite sure what your um, path is or what the end goal is for you. Maybe you're still just kind of doing um, those normal types of things like saving money and making sure that your mental health is good. Uh, trying to be a nice person, but I feel that um, there could be a greater calling for you and um, You're going to be walking into that fairly soon through um, experiences and um, Meetings with other people that are in more in alignment with you is what I'm getting So um, I think I'll leave this reading where it's at. I hope that you love the reading Aries. Happy Easter. Take it easy